Yo, what up, though? Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment. The Minnesota Vikings, man, they got draft capital now, man. They can move up in this year NFL draft class to get the quarterback of the future, man. But can the Minnesota Vikings find a way to swing a trade to get Kayla Williams, man? <sighs> Kayla Williams in the offense with the weapons we have at the wide receivers? Man, that would be a nasty, that would be a nasty offense, man. And let's be for real. If you move up in the NFL draft, you are trying to get a talented quarterback like a Kayla Williams, even a Jada Daniels, man. The only type of quarterbacks you move up and get in the NFL draft, in my opinion. Many people might want, like, they might want Bo Nix or a Drake May. I don't know who the Vikings want, but if I'm moving up and I'm giving you three first round picks for a quarterback, man, I'm trying to get Caleb Williams. I don't know what the Chicago Bears will do at number one. Could the Minnesota Vikings find a way to swing a trade with the Chicago Bears? Man, that right there would be legendary, man. But what will the Bears trade with the Vikings? We know the Vikings will do it, but will the Bears really trade inside the division? to give the Minnesota Vikings their franchise quarterback? I don't know, man. I don't know about that, man. But if the Vikings can't move up for real in the NFL draft, I think J.J. McCarthy might be an option for the Minnesota Vikings, man. you seen we signed a running back Aaron Jones, so the Vikings might be trying to work on a running game. So I don't know what the Vikings really going to do, man, but the Vikings are in a good spot right now, man. The Vikings are in a good spot of this year NFL draft. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. They can stay put at 11 and get the quarterback they want. And at 23, the Vikings can grab a defensive tackle. Because we all know the Vikings need some meat on that defensive line, man. Let's be for real, man. But I don't know, man. It really all up to what the Bears do at number one, man. Or could the Vikings trade with the Commanders at number two? Because like I said, the Vikings got two first-round draft picks this year. That right there is appealing to a lot of football teams, man. And you probably get a first-round pick next year just to move up. So you got three first-round picks, two this year and one next year, man. I don't know. It'd probably be hard for the Commanders or the New England Patriots to say no. But I don't know, man. A lot of people got Drake May going to the Vikings and the Vikings trading up for Drake May. They could be. Will I be mad? A little bit, but the Vikings got their quarterback, man. He might be the quarterback of the future, man. I don't know, man. But the Vikings can make some noise in this year NFL draft class and make it real interesting for everybody who's going to sit back and be watching this NFL draft and want their Minnesota Vikings to draft their franchise quarterback of the future, man. Like, I'm ready. I can't wait for the NFL draft, man. But I would love to have Caleb Williams as a Minnesota Vikings quarterback, man. I don't care what y'all say. Kayla Williams, to me, is the best quarterback in this draft class, man. And the Minnesota Vikings has so many weapons for Kayla Williams, man. I just said we, we got a nice running back in Aaron Jones. We got the best wide receiver in J.J. We also got Ja. He a nice number two wide receiver. And T.J. will be coming back eventually. He a nice tight end. Kayla Williams. Will have some weapons to play with in the Minnesota Vikings, man. He will have some weapons. Whichever quarterback we get, though, they're going to have weapons, man. Like, at the end of the day, the Vikings do move up. Man, pick your poison. Man, get the quarterback you want to draft and lead us to where we've never been. Since I've been watching the Vikings shit to the Super Bowl, it's time for the Vikings to win the Super Bowl, man. But what quarterback y'all want the Vikings to move up to get? Or do y'all want the Minnesota Vikings? to stay put at number 11 and draft the best player available, man, and get and get a defensive tackle or quarterback at spot 23. I don't know, man. It's a lot of options. The way the Minnesota Vikings do this NFL draft, man, they can take a defensive lineman at number 11. Then at 23, they can take a Michael Penix. Or because I believe so many quarterbacks is going to fall for real, man. I don't know all them quarterback going one, two, and three for real, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. People say that every year. Then we see quarterback drops like like I ain't never seen before. Like the year the Chicago Bears took Mitch Trubisky. And we all knew Deshaun Watson 
was the best quarterback in that draft class. We didn't really know about Patrick Mahomes, but we knew Deshaun Watson was the best quarterback. And the Bears went the opposite way. Even though it's a different regime now in Chicago, but because the Bears do some shit like that again and take a Drake May at number one. Man, that right there will shake up the whole NFL draft, man. But y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. What should the Vikings do with them two first-round draft picks? Man, 